Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are excited because we're finally working on the RV again. We're heading to Home Depot to get a few things. We're hoping to get most of the walls in this, you know, the two two walls in the slide out, and then the bathroom small section of the bathroom wall reframed and covered back up. Yeah, we're uh, I guess we're kind of artists. Our motivation comes in spurts. The past couple weekends we've had things to do like going down and helping my grandparents yeah i guess i had uh workers block yeah workers block and i went drinking last night so which it, was the best thing i could have done this is not a sponsored video jim beam what? apple is the greatest whiskey we're just gonna go on our way we're gonna go get coffee and breakfast of course it's gonna be eliano's yeah it's always eliano's once we do that, we're going to go on the home of the depot. We got her coffee. Step one, I don't know where we're going either. We're just going to wing it, I guess. We got, our, we got her coffee. Now we're going to go find something to eat. That'll be step two. <laughs> um, and then we'll hit Home Depot and get what we need. Hi. So when you're doing like post-production and stuff like that, you'll see it. We're now at Home Depot, finally. We almost went and got the car washed, which would have uh, made it a more or less productive day again. So we're gonna go get some wood and some cinder blocks. Yeah, that would fit perfectly. Yeah, but I thought it had to have a Oh. That would work perfectly. That's deceiving. No, but that would work perfectly because we could mount our shower valve right in there. And then all of our pipes and everything would come up from the back or underneath. This would be perfect. How much is that? 150 bucks? Tibbs and his friends, they were waiting for him. We finally got back from our shopping. We got everything that we needed, so now we're going to cut out sections of the slide out, reframe them, and then go back on with some Luan paneling. We got my co-star here, Lucy. Lucy. So we got ourselves a bit of an issue. Trailer, or our RV, fell. Okay, so it didn't really fall. But we bought some center blocks today and I was trying to level it the wrong way. And I snapped two of the front ones on the landing gear. So I gotta try to figure out a way to get the right side of this RV leveled. And Chips' friends are out. So I'm thinking getting underneath the rear axle with a bottle jack 
and trying to lift it up that way and I'm hoping that it goes good so if this video doesn't make it I didn't make it support apparently this is a very bad idea but I don't have my hitch in the back of my truck I have to use this kind of as the hitch itself but this is too high and one of the reasons why we need to level this thing is you can see it's all the way flush but the more you go up the more that slide is in here the RV is severely unlevel that's me holding the camera straight and level and you can tell it the left side this side over here is further down than this side we're gonna get under there on this side and try to straighten it out a little bit so my idea here is to get a bottle jack this is the the right side we're not bothering with this side but right there underneath that part of the axle to put a bottle jack probably put a chunk of wood under it or something to stabilize it it's on that side and that way we can lift that side and then put two by fours and whatever we need underneath. That way it won't be so unlevel. Alright, there's a bottle jack. Doesn't say. But it should work. Tension. And we'll get under there. Hopefully. Throw that stuff down. I'm gonna make sure that I have all, I'm gonna make sure that that entire slide is all the way out. So in case you didn't know, if your motor ever goes out, which usually sits right here, and is connected by these two wires, have the ability to use your motor, you can use this, which goes down to both. All you need is a crescent wrench that will fit in, in each one. So that'll fit right there. And it does take two hands. And it is a pain because this thing is so heavy. So I think I just learned something. It won't move. And I think I found out why. I have supports going through all these for the 2x4s and I think I secured these in place. I'm not taking off the plywood and everything to get to this. It's just not worth it. That's it for that. I'm going to try to put my jack underneath there now. Okay, so the ground is too soft as of right now to just put the jack on the floor. No, I'm even contemplating just letting the air out of the tires on the other side. Put that there, two by four. That still needs to go down a little bit kind of evenly use a drill lead to lift up whatever you're doing oh, I need to find something to put under it my two 2x4s two are now being used by something else Okay, so I have my two pieces of wood now, one for each tire. It's starting to level out. This side just a tad more. Put 
the 2x4 block underneath the tire and then lower it down and do the same for the other tire. As you can see it goes in slightly. Let's just raise it up just a little bit. Everything's creaking and cracking. A little more. chocks where they need to go so we'll lower it back down almost be all the way down which is good because that means it did raise it up a little bit one more tire to do and I think it'll be good and level as you can see now that's how it was on the other side so it is definitely a lot higher now what are you doing? Trying to jack this trailer up. You just asked me if I wanted to see what you were doing. This jack was completely on this. Now it's rocking, so that's a good sign that we have done what we were here to do. Tighten this to this, and that'll be it for this one. Just about level. Let's see how it feels when we go inside. This last step is now permanently on the ground, which I believe is proper. I'm not gonna lie, now I feel like the left side is too high but it is what it is. It's still doing its thing. Push it to close it. If that's what we gotta do, then that's what we gotta do. But today's project was supposed to be me cutting out the two sides here to replace our boards. That being said, if I want to raise up the right side now all I gotta do is inflate the tires on that side just enough to get it level fully level we've accomplished a lot today I mean we moved an entire fifth wheel without hooking it. Um, the front and feel you can tell that the front is not as level for one this door does not stay shut now and now I know my